Just a few weeks ago, the state of downtown speech was given in Sacramento to announce the plans that are in progress and some that are in the works. There's a lot to discuss and joining us now, Mayor Daryl Steinberg. Let's uh, well, thank you for joining us. Always good off. to be with you. <laughs> uh, let's talk tourism. Uh, the city mm -hmm. has definitely had some big ambitions pursuing large events like the NBA All-Star Game. Now, the NBA may have uh, passed on the city for right for now. now, for now. Uh, but we do know that the city is trying to address some of their concerns as far as hotel occupancy. So what can you tell us more well, about that? Um, the hotel industry in Sacramento is recovering and recovering fast. We're almost at pre-COVID capacity in terms okay. of hotels. And uh, we have added uh, over a thousand hotel rooms just over the last couple of years, uh, with more to come, uh, including um, a, a convention center hotel, which has been long in the works. Um, tourism is one of our great strengths here in Sacramento. When you look at the music festivals, the country music festival, Aftershock, Farm to Fork, um, we're slowly branding ourselves as a city of festivals. And we passed Measure N, which we talked about the last time, which allows us to now invest upwards of $75 million in tourism-related attractions. First on the list and second on the list are co-equal. Re-modernizing um, Old Sacramento. We have $30 million to modernize Old Sacramento. And we've got um, about the same amount of money to build a major regional youth, youth sports facility in South Sacramento. And so uh, tourism is a major staple of our economy. And it's one of the things that I look at with great, not only private confidence going forward. And of course, tourism and safety. They pretty much go hand in hand. No question. There's been a plea by folks in Old Sacramento for more security, especially given what happened over the weekend. What can you tell folks right there who are asking for more police patrols? Well, um, first of all, we have added security throughout the entire downtown. The city put um, millions of dollars from our federal American Rescue Plan dollars into additional officers, into additional private security, into additional lighting. And um, my commitment, and I said this at the State of the Downtown Address, even though that's one-time money, mm -hmm. um, we're going to find a way in the city budget to continue that investment because the central city, the downtown, the midtown, our street, Old Sacramento, are really the heart of not only our city's economy, but our regional economy. But, you know, I know there was a shooting, um, and it's terrible any time that happens. Um, and yet, um, I still say, look at all of the incredible positive energy that's going on downtown. I mean, the upcoming St. Patrick's Day parade, for example, the Kings and what's going on around the Golden One Center, um, the new restaurants that are opening, even in the midst of tough economic times. I said this in my state of the downtown, we know we have challenges, but no more hand wringing. Mm -hmm. um, Recognize that, you know, sometimes you, things, you know, you can't prevent everything. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, we are taking every precaution, but come down and have a great time because that's, that's mostly what's happening in the central city in downtown Sacramento. And of course, the Golden One Center at the center of a lot of that. It's going to be a very busy arena this month. Uh, so March folks, Madness. You got March Madness, definitely. Uh, what do you say to some of the folks, though, who say, you know, again, there's still a, a big portion of, of homeless down there that might also just be a deterrent for some who might want to come and visit. How are you also trying to address the homelessness aspect of things? All, of course, with compassion, of course, to those who, who are out there as well. Well, we are doing our very best to combat this problem, which of course is not unique to Sacramento. We talked about, you know, I think last time or the time before, we now have a, a legally binding partnership agreement with the County of Sacramento. We are starting with the WX freeway, not ignoring the other parts of the city, including the downtown, but we're starting with the WX. We have four outreach teams now. Um, we're gonna build up to 10. And when this partnership agreement gets to scale and we have the beds, I believe we're gonna see a, a demonstrable, visible and tangible difference in our downtown and in all parts of our city, but it takes time. 
And, uh, but finally, we have the foundation because I said before, the city is not a homeless service agency. We don't do this, uh, we don't do mental health, we don't do substance abuse, it's the county. Now we're in partnership together and I think you'll see better results. I know you've been holding some community meetings. Do you have any others? Because again, I'm sure fo folks are always wanting to give you some input as well. Th this Saturday, I have a town hall uh, in Meadowview <clears throat> and on the 25th, I or uh, uh, two weeks after that, I'm going to be in Gardenland. So I'm trying to get around the city okay. um, because I think it's really important that uh, the people have a chance to ask their mayor questions. Hard questions, uh, you know, the good things, the tough things. Um, I just want to be accessible. Yeah, you definitely want to hear yeah. that input. Always. Mayor, thank you so much for your Always time this morning. Thank we you really so much. appreciate it. Thank Deirdre. You.